Nelly. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Good. Annie, can you hear me? Nelly, can you hear me? I don't know, but Daniel, you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, very good. Maybe in a, in a few seconds, they, they improve their um, sound. How was your day? Uh, it was very rainy today. Uh, yeah. Yes. But uh, where are you, Daniel? Are you in San Salvador? Yes, I live in Ciudad Delgado. Okay. And was it raining a lot there? Yes, all day. All day. Okay. Yes. And, and, and what are the predictions for tomorrow? Is it more rain or less rain? Uh, I heard that the rain will be raining tomorrow. So it and will be raining tomorrow. Yes, we have to avoid the, to be near of the mountains and uh, be with one the, the umbrella. Jackets. Think, jackets. And I think that tomorrow is don't, don't be a class. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, uh, Ministerio de Educación, they canceled classes um, today, and tomorrow is going to be the same story. Okay. Right? So, but anyways, we just have to be extra careful. This rain. Excuse me? Uh, everybody has to be careful with all this rain. Oh, yes. All right. <clears throat> So, Raul, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, Shanira, can you hear me? Yes, I do. But I don't know if you uh, heard me. Uh, yeah, I me? can hear you. I can ah, hear okay. you. Okay, sure. thank you. Annie, Hello. are you there? Everybody. Annie Garay, are you there? Corina? Flor de Maria, can you hear me? Here. Good. Very good, nice. All right, so let's begin. Uh, thank you for making the space uh, to be here. We know that it's been raining a lot and, uh, you know, uh, it was very unusual in, in, in different forms, but we are here, uh, so let's begin. Uh, can you please refresh my memory and tell me what we did yesterday? Anybody? We were uh, um, phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs, yes. What is a phrasal verb? Anybody? People? It's uh, about to verb uh, to complete or to make a new meaning uh, for answer, for asking. But Usually, it is two verbs. Okay. Good, good. So that's very important that when we're talking about phrasal verbs, we're talking about a verb that has two parts. You have the verb and you have the preposition. And keep something in mind. The preposition that you use will change the meaning of what you're saying. Let me give you an example. Uh, what's the difference between sign in and sign up? Anybody, what's the difference? Sign in is when you want to access to a private site and you need uh, your user and password. Okay. And sign out is when you are uh, leaving the, the site, I think, when okay. you want to disconnect. Okay, um, 
the first one is good, but the second has to be a little bit different. Somebody wants to help Daniel with his answer? Anybody? Yeah, sign up, sign up maybe is when you subscribe uh, a something for mm -hmm. the first time. Yes. You see the chat? I don't okay. see the chat. I have a, a little problem with the connection. Oh, okay. What about the rest? Can you guys see the chat? Yes, I can see it. Okay. So we have yes. sign in versus sign up. Like Daniel was saying, sign in is when you want to have access to a private site and you need mm -hmm. to register your name, password, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now sign up, uh, who, who explained sign up? Who was it? Uh, sign up is when you complete forms and you give you that at the first time. Uh, good. To, to register in some Very website. good, yes. Nelly, you want to say something? Nelly? Okay, I guess not. Okay, so as you can see, we're using the same verb with a different preposition and the preposition will change the meaning of what you're saying. So, and that's a phrasal verb. Uh, you have to be very uh, aware that the preposition will change the message of what you're trying to say. Um, do you have any questions about yesterday? Before we start with today's topic. No? No. No. All right. So no. let's do this. Uh -huh. We're here. Let me check this out. So where is this? Uh, right here. Do you see the picture? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you see in the picture? Yes. A family. It's a family? Uh-huh. Oh, family. What part of the house are they in? The living room. In the living room. Uh-huh. What's this girl doing? She is talking on the phone. Okay. What about this guy here? He's laying What's on the couch. Eating? Right, yeah. He's okay, he's eating. eating. She's talking. What's the father doing? <laughs> Crying or maybe yeah. speak aloud. Okay, so he's complaining. He's complaining or is uh, asking something to his son. Right, right. What about the mother? She too, she, she, she's asking to his, her daughter, his daughter to, okay. to, to do something. To do something. Okay, good. Uh, and what do you see in the background? What is this here? What's this here? A window? Yeah, it could be a window, maybe a, a door. door. What is it's this two? here? Well, yeah, it can be a, photo, a photograph, a picture, and what's the name of this? The steps. Okay, yes, this is uh, indicates that you have stairs, and what's the name of this thing where you put your hand? How, how do you say this in Spanish? Pasamano. Uh-huh. Anybody knows how to say pasamanos in English? No. no, no. Okay, so it goes like this. That is the handrail. Handrail. Yes, handrail. So if you if you live in a house where you have two floors, 
uh, you need to have a handrail to be more secure just in case you lose balance, right? Okay, so I need two volunteers to read this conversation here. We have Me. Mr. Phil, we have Jason, we have Lisa, and we have Mrs. Phil. So I will need four volunteers. Who is Mr. Field? Me. Okay, Nelly, you're Mr. Field, very good. Who wants to be Jason? Me. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Um, Mrs. Field? Me. Uh, Jason, Jason. Okay, but who wants to be Mrs. Field? Me. Okay, Lucrecia, thank you. And the last one is Lisa. Who wants to be Lisa? Me. Okay, Flor, very good, thank you. So, let's go, read your part. First person. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Uh, Lisa, please. Lisa, please pick up your things. They are all over the floor. In a minute. Mom, I'm on the phone. Hmm. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Good. Goodness. 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 Yes. Where we like this. Where we like this when we were kids. Mr. Field? Oh. Definitely. 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 Okay. So as you can see, we have this conversation here, and they use a lot of phrasal verbs. Uh, what is the first phrasal verb that you see? Turn down. Turn down. Turn down. What's the other one? You repeat it again. Turn it down. Turn it down. What's the other one? Pick, Pick up. Pick up. Very good. What's next? Hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Very good. Hang up. What's Hang the up. other one? No, that's that's the last one. Yeah. That's the last one. All right. Um, any questions here? No. Are we okay here? Good. Yes. Okay, very good. So let me show you an exercise that you guys are going to be doing um, in groups. So let's see, what is uh, <laughs> right here? Okay, you guys see the paper? Yes. Yes. All right. So as you can see, all the exercises here, they have phrasal verbs. Be through, go on, fill in, take off, stay out, and speak up. Um, what if you tell your, let's say you tell one of your friends, I'm through with you. I am through with you. What is the, what, what's the meaning of be through? Anybody? Be honest, maybe. Um, could be someone else. So be through, you use this expression when you don't want to talk with this person anymore. Uh, uh, uh -huh. uh, can you explain uh, more, please? Be through. Uh, for example, yes. I give $20 to my brother and he doesn't pay me back. So I tell him, look, I am through with you. Never ask me for money again. I am through with you. Yeah, do you understand that example, be through? No. It's like when Let's you don't, when, okay, when you don't want to know anything about another person. Okay. When you don't want to know anything about the other person, that is that's the meaning. It's, it's 
something negative. Uh, like usually, you like it. Yes, usually you use it when you are angry with a person. Okay. And you don't want to talk to this person anymore. It's like avoid, avoid you. Right. Like, look, I prefer to avoid my brother, so you said I'm through with him. Okay. What about go on? To continue. Good. Fill in. To complete. complete Good. Take off. Yesterday we discussed two different meanings of take off. Who remembers them? And you are talking to them to the opposite, to take arrive. Off. No. Okay, the opposite of arrive, very good. And what's the other one? Leaves, leaves. To leave the ground, correct? Exactly, to leave the ground, to leave the ground. What about stay out? Stay out. What does that mean? What do you do Saturday night? Do you stay in your house or do you stay out? Go out. It's another form to say go out. Stay in my house. And, and, and what's the meaning of speak up? Speak aloud. It's speak aloud. Speak Very aloud. Good. Very good. Now we go to number two. Complete one of these phrasal verbs. Go off, put off, see off, take off, and turn off. What is go off? Anybody? Go off means to activate something. Go off means to activate something. Uh, what about put off? Can you give us an example of go off? Go off? Um, yes. My alarm went off by accident at two in the morning. My alarm went off by accident at two in the morning. Somebody's watching TV. Like turn on. Yes, like turn on. Okay. Um, put off, what is put off? What is put it's off? Like similar as take off, take off, like put off the clothes, take okay. off the clothes. Okay, so put off can be literal and it can also be idiomatic. Put off means to remove something or it also means to cancel something. So they put off the meeting again. They put off the meeting to cancel. Yes. Yeah, to postpone. Yes. What about see off? See off? What's the meaning of see off? See off is when you say goodbye to a person um, at the airport. Uh, when you go say bye bye. See off, you say. That's see off, yes. See off. Bye. What about take off? Take off. Take off is already mentioned in the first part. And then turn off, you guys are very familiar with turn off. Yes. Okay. Um, any questions about the vocabulary that we have there? Okay, let's see this here. Um, give me a second. I thought I had this already. Uh, by the way, is everybody in the WhatsApp group? Yes. 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 Has yes. everybody registered? Yes. Yes. I, I don't know really. I, I don't. 
I don't. Okay. So uh, I have a question. I yes. register on the platform, but I don't receive the email, but I can see the exercises. Okay. So you didn't receive an email, but you have access to the platform. Yes. Really? Yes. That's a little bit strange because usually yeah, it's the opposite. Is but it's not a problem. No, 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 not at all. Oh, okay. Just make sure that whenever you do your homework, your name is registered. Yes, I I see my name in the in the top of the page. Okay, so you're fine. Exercise. Okay, so I guess that maybe when they were um, introducing all your information, they left it open. Okay. It was activated, but no, don't worry. It it, it if you have access to it, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Okay, sure. Okay, so here we go with the first activity. It's going to be a group of, uh, group activity. I'm going to make groups and you guys will discuss the questions, uh, the exercise that we have there. So let me see okay. this here. Breakout rooms. We have 16 participants. I'm going to make four groups. Here we go. I sent you the image to the WhatsApp group just in case you want to see it from your cell phone. Here we go. Hello, Tomsley. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Cousin, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daniel and Gabriela, are you guys ready? Yes. Yes. All right. So um, start doing the, the talking, the discussion part, the exercise. Do you see the page? No. You don't see the page? No. no. All no. right, hold on. Ta -da -da. Hi, Gabby. Hello. Where's this? Here? How are you? You know who? Who am I? <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course, Jen. <laughs> you see the paper? Yes. 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 All right. Good. So go ahead. Discuss it. Okay. We have to complete the exercise, right? And the then exercise. I'll give you the right answers. Okay. We, 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 the, where is the page? Oh, we lost the page. Huh? We can see the the page. Okay. Um. What did I do with it? You also have it in your um, in the chat in the WhatsApp. I am in the chat of the WhatsApp. Okay, right now, yeah, we, we're... Okay, you we see it now? Page. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, good. Uh, I think the first one... Give me was, a second, I'll be back. Uh, I can, I can, uh, I think is, will you fill in the, this application form, please? Could fill you in. fill in this yeah, application fill in. Yes. yes. Yes, it is. Could you fill in? Okay. The two, the two second, I'll never talk to you again. We be through. We uh -huh. be through. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, we be through. Exactly. If you don't. If you don't. Speak up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you don't speak up, we can you can hear, hear you. Uh, we can hear right. you. Three, four. Okay. I'm tired because I stayed out too late out last too night. Last night. I stayed out. Yes. Yeah. The plane. The plane. Take off. I think the, off. The, yeah. the, the, the plane take off late because of the bad weather. Uh, but we didn't use. You think? We didn't use go on. Oh, one. I think it's go on. Oh, oh I don't know. One, two, three. 
Bong. Why? Oh. No, but it it take off. The plane take take off late. Ah yes. Take off yes. Okay. Next okay. one. Complete one of these the next place next. verbs. Okay. Then let's go to the airport to Go to the airport to go, go, to, air go. to see off them. See ah, off. See go off. off. See them off. I don't know. See them off. Oh, see in this, off, in, in this sentence, we, we are go going off. to use two phrasal verbs, so only one. Go in off. In this case, it's two, I think. Uh, with the first one, um, you're using only one. The only thing is that it's a phrasal verb that you can separate. Oh, right. I, mm. I can. I, I could say see them off. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Ah, yes. Let's go, go to the airport to, to see them off. Okay. The plane doesn't doesn't take doesn't take off till five o'clock mm -hmm. yes it is he has Good. he was sleeping soundly when the alarm clock turned off now when no. you say he Go was off. sleeping which tense are you using we're sleeping past simple past, past continuous Past continuous, right. Past continuous. So, so the complement so has to be connected with, with the it. first part. He was sleeping when the alarm, when the alarm clock. When the alarm clock, when the alarm clock going off. Um, okay, what is the past went tense off. of go? Exactly, went ah, off. When God went off. Went, went off. off. Went, went. Okay. Yes. Went. The meeting okay. has been till the next month. Pull, pull off. Good. The meeting has, the been, meeting has, been, has been like postponed, right? Exactly. Put mm -hmm. off till the next month. Don't forget to turn, turn, off. Off, turn off the lights when you leave. Like yes. the music. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, complete this game. Hi, Mr. Mac Mr. Knight. Mr. Knight in? Hold on. Hold on. I call. I call Hold on. Hi. Hold on. I call Knight. him. Uh -huh. Hold on. Ah, yes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I call him. No. I, what, what's the meaning of hold on? I got, it. I got it. What's uh, the meaning of hold let's on? Wait. Wait. Good. Very good. Wait a second. Uh huh. Excuse me. Could I try no? Try no? Try it on this dress. Try it on. Try on. Oh, right. Put on. Try. Uh, try. It, it could okay. be both. Put on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put on the this dress or trying on this dress. Okay, if you go to a department store, if you go to Siman, do you say mm -hmm. can I put it on or can I try it on? Put. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying on. Right, because you're it's not your dress, you're only oh. trying it. Yes. Ah uh, yes, true. Yep. Okay. The third, how are how how are you? How are you? Get on. Let's go. Follow up. Get on. Did did you receive the page in, 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 in the chat? I'm not but well, I'm not in the chat yet. Uh, no. Me neither. Okay. So you need to register so uh, you guys um, receive all the information that we'll be sending to the chat. 
Okay, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. Sure, when Ooh. we finish the class. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, let's see. The number three, how are you? Uh, carry on. It could be. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's carry on at college. No. No. Or. I think it's get on. But, um, get on, maybe. Okay. I. But how are you? Get on at college? But I don't understand. How are you? <laughs> Uh -huh. I understand that, but I think maybe it's the meeting. Okay, carry on. Like you can say, how do you behave uh, at school? How how do you how do you do things? Like uh -huh. get so get it's out. it's get. carry on or what is the correct? Okay, get. how get. are you? Which tense is this? Number three. Uh-huh. Which tense is this? Present. Uh-huh. What if I put ing here? What will be the tense? Progressive. Uh-huh. It will be Pro progressive. So how are you carrying? Carrying on. Uh-huh. Carrying on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Carry on at college. Ah, uh, yes. It's more sense. <laughs> yeah, it makes more sense. Mm-hmm. Carrying on. Gets more sense. Mm -hmm. Carrying on at college. Yes. Okay. Next. Are you still? But what exactly carry on means? Um. How are things going with you? All oh, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you still getting on? Uh -huh. With your on. tennis lesson, I think. Are you still getting on? Are you still getting on with okay. your tennis lesson? Mm -hmm. Let me Get visit on. another room. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Oh, we lost the picture. <laughs> Wait, wait. Hello. You Hello. Hello. You finished with the exercise? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah ready. Number Was it easy? One and number two. Okay. What about three and four? Did you finish three and four? I can I can take the the picture of four. Uh, are you still with your tennis lessons? Mm -hmm. The first and the second part. Uh huh. And the third part, we can see it. Now, when you say you can see it, what exactly do you mean? The English is end on the number two. Okay, so, okay, what's the answer for the first one? If we're talking about part three, what's the answer for the first one? Hi, it's Mr. Snipe. In? In? Hold on. Hold on. I call him. Okay. What about number two? Excuse me. Could I try on this dress, please? Mm-hmm. Good. And what about the other, your friends? Who's in this group? I can't see the the part three in the picture. Either. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I see what you mean. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. My bad.
Do you see it now? No. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Let me check. Um, yeah. Um, no. Number four is on. Como no, lo que pasa es que como hasta el día de ayer lo actualicé. What are you talking about? We are talking about the phrases that we saw yesterday. Okay. We are studying. And oh, we have the, lesson. the doubt is if we have to continue to the part two and the four because there are other phrases where and you didn't explain. Okay, uh, which, which part are you doing? The one and two. One and two, okay. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you see number three, part number three? Three and four. Yes. Uh -huh. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, yeah. good. Now, do you see the, uh, we have carry on, get on, hold on, put on, and try on? Yes. All right, so what's the answer for the first one? Anybody? Hi, e Mr. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, right. Hold on, hold I'll on. call him. Hold on. Okay, what's the meaning of hold on? It's like... To wait. To wait. Good. Good. What about number two? Could I put on this dress, please? Or try it on? Okay, uh, let me give you an example. Imagine <laughs> that you go to, uh, you go to Simang, do you tell the salesperson you want to put it on or you want to try it on? Which one do you think is better? Anybody? Put on. Try on. Try on. Try on. Because remember, the dress is not yours, so you're just going to try it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, if you are in your house, and then then you ask permission to your wife or your husband, and you say, "Excuse me, could I put on this dress?" That's different. It, it depends on the situation. Right. Okay. So if okay. if you are in a store, you say, "Try on." If Try you're on. asking for permission to your other half, then you say. Put on. Put on. Put on. Okay. Yep. So in this case, is tried on number two. Yep. I'll be back. Okay. How are you? I think number three is how are you? Hello. Hello. Which, which one are you discussing? Which one are you doing? One and two. One and two. Okay. Do you have any questions in parts one or two? In the part two, the number. Um, Uh, let me see the number three. Uh huh. Okay. So he was sleeping soundly when the alarm. What? What would be the best option there? When the alarm uh, is up. Okay, if you see the first part of number three, which tense is that? Which tense are we using? He was sleeping. What's the tense? Past uh, progressive. Yes, past progressive. So the complement has to make sense, has to match with the first part. So what, what would be the uh, a good compliment for that? Okay. 
So what is the past tense of go? Went. Went. So he was sleeping soundly when the alarm clock went, went off. Went off. Went off. Okay. Yes. Okay. I, I have a question with the part one. The yes, Christina. Sentence two uh, and the and the space. I suppose uh, we we be true, but I'm not sure the bear if I I I can I can use we are or, or be. Good question. Um, the answers, the options that you have here are in base form. So in the sentence, you you cannot use base form, and therefore you have to use R, not B. Okay, R. Mm -hmm. But but if the the first in the first sentence is the 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 tense is is future. Uh, not exactly. No. Uh, you you mean number okay. one? And number two? Uh, I'll never uh, I'll never talk to you again. I'll never. We are through. Oh. Okay. We are through. Yeah. Uh, through. Uh huh. In present. Yes, it's it's present. Uh -huh. It's present. We're teacher, through. Uh, teacher, but uh, how how could I know what is the the verb? Uh, which number, Lucrecia? Mm, for example, number five uh -huh. of, the, of the first part. Okay. Mm. Okay. Remember that every every exercise they give you a hint, so you can have an idea of which tense they are using. So look at number five. The plane. You can you can use uh, um, different tenses here as long as they make sense. How would you use number five in past tense? Took off. Mm -hmm. Took off. Uh huh. So the plane took off late because of the bad weather. Does it make sense? Yes, it does. Yes. How would you say this in future? The 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 plane is is going to is, uh -huh. is going to take off late because late. of the bad weather. So uh -huh. does it make sense? Yes, it does. Now, okay. how how will you use number five in present perfect? Anybody? Corina, Christina, Annie? How will you use number five in the present perfect? Present perfect. The plane has taken taken off late because of the bad weather. Very good. The plane has taken off late because of the bad weather. So going back to Lucrecia's question, um, you can use any tense that you like as long as the sentence uh, makes sense. Okay. So, so, so you don't have to use one particular tense. As you can see with number five, we gave a right answer in four different tenses and the four answers were good. Mm. Got it? Okay. Okay, so I think we need to return to the main session. I'll be back. Okay. okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay, is everybody here? Yes. 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 I Okay, make sure that everybody can. <coughs> so as you see, um, 
the preposition that you use with the verb uh, changes the meaning of the of, of the verb that you're using. Um, as we talk, do you guys remember the differences between regular and irregular verbs? Yes. Okay, can somebody yes. tell me the differences? Anybody? One of the, the one of the, has rules. Okay, Jose? Yeah, the, the regular is commonly end in the ED verse. Okay, uh, and, and what the, about irregular? It is a... Uh, with the irregulars, it, it is a, with a list. Okay. It's completely, it's completely different than the present person in some cases. Okay, so what is the past tense of work? What's the past tense of clean? Clean. 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 Okay. So, uh, like Jose says, uh, uh, regulars from present to past, you put ed. Yes. Uh, when you see ed, that indicates that you're in past tense. Now, that's easy. That's simple. But what happens when you're using irregulars? What's the story? Some of the you verbs. You need to memorize the verbs. In some cases, we have to memorize. Okay. So if, if I say go, what's the past tense of go? Went. 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 Okay. So as you can see, it's completely different than, than regulars, right? Now, do you remember the three different... Um, options that we have in terms of pronunciation with uh, regulars? Mm. Yes. It is. Yes. It is. Yes. Sounds and it is. Oh, Daniel? Uh, we have the three different kind of pronunciation with regulars. Verbs. Okay. okay. And it is. Uh, it is sounds. The sounds in ED. Okay. Now, can somebody explain? Yeah, your answer is good. Can someone explain when you produce this sound, when you produce the other one, and when you use the the last one? When, when it's a, a, a voiceless, we use a, 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 t, a T and the end of the bird. Okay. And what is voiceless? Uh, when uh, we not, we don't have the vibration in the screw. Very good. What is the other sound? When we have a vibration, we pronounce D at the end of the bird. Okay. And the third one is when the bird ended in T or, or D. We add uh, ID on the, on the pronunciation. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Um, someone else wants to say something uh, about the ED sound? Sound like that T. Uh huh. But are, are regular verbs? Um, yes, we're talking yes, about. With ID and. So we're talking about the pronunciation of ED in, in, in past tense. And we have three different sounds. Let me see if I have this paper. You see the paper? Yes. Okay. I need a volunteer to read the, uh, the, the introduction here. Me. Okay. Elizabeth graduated last summer. I want to take her picture. So she smiled and I photographed her with some of her friends. Okay. Now, what is the past tense of want? 
Well, wanted. 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 Okay, so look here. Uh, your main goal is communication. Like you understand people, people understand you, we're okay. But if you can have good communication, that's even better. Now, when I'm talking about good communication, I mean pronouncing ED in a very natural way. So what is the past tense of help? Help. 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 The past tense of wash? Wash. 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 And what's Washed. the past tense of cook? Cook. 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 Cooked. Okay. Cooked. 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 Now, yeah, cooked. Now look here. If the if the termination of the sound is this here, then ed is going to sound like t. And this is the reason why you say helped, washed, and cooked. It's not helping, it's not washing, it's not cooking. It's helped, washed, and cooked. Cooked, yeah. Uh-huh. So what about the second sound? So look here. If this is the termination of the sound, plus... A E I O U, then E D will sound like this. So you will say played, lived, and rained. Played, played, rained. Okay. Rained. Okay. What's the past tense of play? Played. 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 What's the past tense of live? Live, live, live. And the past tense of rain? Rain. Uh -huh. rain. So you said it rained rain. a lot in El Salvador today. It rained yeah. a lot. It rained a lot. It okay. rained a lot. Okay. So let me explain something. Voiceless, like uh, who explained this? Was it Jose? It me. Okay. Daniel. Yeah, Jose and Daniel. Okay. When we talk about voiceless, that means that the termination of the sound doesn't have vibration. So, can you put your hand on your throat? Go like this. Okay. Put your hand on your throat. Okay. okay. Say, wash. 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 Wash doesn't have vibration. Wash doesn't have vibration. Now say cook. 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 Cook doesn't have vibration either. So when the sound doesn't have vibration, ED will sound like a T. The second group is the opposite. Put your hand again and say play. 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 Do you feel vibration? Yes. Yes. Play. yes. Play. So if the termination of the sound has vibration, play. then ED will sound like D. So you say helped. You say play. Play. Okay, number three. Number three, we don't care. We don't care if the sound is voiceless or voiced. If the termination is a D or a T, ED will sound exactly the same way you write it. So what is the past tense of wait? Waited. Waited. The past Waited. tense of want? Wanted. The past tense of need? Needed. Needed. Right. Needed. Remember this. This right here, it's only the phonetic symbol. It's not the real pronunciation. It's just the phonetic symbol. So you say waited, wanted, and you say needed. Needed. Okay. Um, needed. Do we have any questions here? No. Okay. Now, 
Can you mention examples of adjectives that finish in ed? Adjectives that finish in ed. Anybody? How do you say cansado in English? Higher. Okay. Okay, the same rule, the same rule that we apply this for regulars in past tense, you use the same rule with adjectives that finish in ED. And this is the reason why you don't say tired, you say tired. Tired. Are you tired? Tired? You don't say tired, you say tired. Tired. Uh -huh. Tired. 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 How do you say emotional? Excited. Excited. Uh -huh. excited. So you say excited, tired. and here you say tired. 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 Uh huh. Tired. Uh, how do you? Uh, have you heard the expression freaked? Yeah. No. Freaked? I was freaked out. I was freaked out. Freaked out. So what is freaked out? Freak. 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 Come on, freak. Uh, freak. No. Freak. Freak. Let, let me see if I can put this here. Um, Being shocked? Yes. That's exactly what it is. You freak so me out. Exactly. Freaked out. I was freaked out. In this case, freaked out is not a verb, it's an adjective. But you apply the same rule that we apply with regulars in past tense. Is that clear? Freaked. Yes. Freaked. Uh huh. Freaked out. So you say freaked out, tired, and you say exhausted. Exhausted. Uh huh. Exhausted. Yes. How do you feel at this time of the day? Exhausted. Exhausted. Tired. 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 Uh -huh. Or let's say tomorrow you're going to see your best friend in first time in five years. So you will feel excited. Excited. Right, excited. Okay, so I'm going to send you this image to the chat. Make sure that you register to the WhatsApp group because that's gonna be uh, something that we're going to be using every day. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. Do you have any questions before we go to sleep? No. <laughs> no. Are, are, what time do you go to sleep? Uh, at night. At night. <laughs> night. It depends. I have to cook. Really? <laughs> I have yes. to see a movie. <laughs> I have to watch my clothes. My goodness, so, someone says I have to so watch a movie. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to get some rest. Yeah. Yes. Time to tomorrow. Tomorrow is another rest. day, and you guys, you guys have to be very energetic, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay yes. So, if you don't have any questions, uh, thank you again for making the time, and I'll see you tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay, thank see you, you tomorrow. Thank you, good night. Yeah. Have a good night. Good night, good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye, cousin. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.